Ghana. My name is Saritina Adai, a participant of the AP. Three, two, one. Hello, everyone. Hello there. My name is Francis Apia Kranti, a participant of the Graduate in Agri. I hail from Ebri in the Eastern Region. I had the opportunity to complete. Hi, my name is Justice Kwame Agonuga, a past student of. Good morning to you all. All right, welcome to today's session. The long-awaited day is finally here, the day of assessment. So our facilitators will take us through to let us know the progress of our activities so far. For the benefit of our viewers and then uh, those who just join us, I would want to introduce our facilitators once again who has been with us through the journey all this while. So we have here Mr. Solomon Asante, one of our facilitators and then Mr. David Enima, also one of our facilitators. So I would leave this session for them to take over. Thank you. Good morning to you all. I'm Solomon Asante. Senior Assistant Farm Manager at the Forest and Horticulture Research Centre, University of Ghana, Legon. We are here today for the assessment of the participants' projects on vegetable production. These are the criteria we are going to assess each participant or each group on. We have the planning, nursery and planting, and some aspects of farm management. So under the planning, we are going to check the factors you considered in your soil selection. Factors you considered before you selected this site. Then the knowledge about your crop selection. We are also going to assess you on the type of crop you selected. What informed you to select that particular crop at this particular time? Then your land preparation, seed selection, we have a variety of activities or factors or indicators that we are going to access you on. So without wasting much time, we are going to assess to see the progress of where you've gotten to. Whether you did exactly what we told you or you are using your own discretion and the results that you have, we are seeing so far. Thank you. Why did you choose this location? We have a bigger plot. Why did you decide to choose this place? Mm -hmm. It's AP Yoku selected the, the site. Okay, the so, so, site was selected uh, for you. Yeah, so each and every group or individual was assigned this land. So that is why we came in here. Okay. Why did you choose tomatoes? Yes, uh, we chose tomatoes because of its... Uh, Health benefits. Health benefits. That is one. Mm -hmm. The That's other one thing. is uh, uh, the, the gap. There's a demand for, for it. Demand. Yes, the mm -hmm. demand. We also looked at the fact that uh, tomatoes has the, a, a huge market base. So that was one of the reasons why. Okay. We... How did you prepare the land? When we came, um, the land was quite weedy. Mm -hmm. So we cleared it. With and what? then. We, so we got our tools, the holes, the cutlasses, mm. and we also used pickers at least to create the bed because the soil was quite uh, dry and compact, so we had to do that. And that was what we used to create the beds. Okay. Yes. 
What about the seeds? What variety did you select? Okay, so we got petome from Agrimat. First, before we bought it, we I consulted. We consulted with some of the industry players, like um, Mr. Beko White of Farmers Market, and so he told us the a variety of seeds to buy, and then that was what we got from Agrimat. Yes, please. Have you have you controlled any pests so far from the seedlings? Uh, yes. Have you applied any fertilizer yet? Yes, please. First application or? First application. First application. How yes. did you do it? We, we used we use the MPK, which um, the N the N the NPK twenty five ten ten. Twenty five ten ten. Yes. What um, what volume did you or in grams? What quantity did you uh, we used apply? Five grams for each seedling. Per each plant. Yeah. Okay. How did you do it? Did you where did you place it? We place it. Demonstrate it and let one. me see. Where did you place it? So we we. Dig, we dug a hole one meter apart from one meter centimeter apart from mm -hmm. the plants then we we took the five grams of mm -hmm. the fertilizer and we place it and then we cover it why did you cover it the reason why we cover it is that the we learned that the inorganic fertilizers they are so volatile so when it's being exposed to the on the surface it, it could be easily uh, evaporated okay okay currently we are done with tuma fresh assessments and overall i think they've done well and we will encourage them to they can do better there is more room for improvement so we we'll move on to other participants here to assess bufan vegetable okay what inform your site selection? Okay, um, one factor that informed our site selection was um, the kind of crop we wanted to cultivate here. We wanted to cultivate beetroot and lettuce. And then if you look at the land or the soil here, which is a loamy clay uh, soil, which help in water holding capacity and then even the nutrient holding capacity. So we believe that um, a crop like lectus also need nutrients, the right amount of nutrients. And since the soil is able to hold that kind of nutrient and even the water, whenever you, 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 are, you irrigate it. So that, that was some factors that helped Okay. Okay. Um, why did you select lettuce and beetroot? Why did you select those crops? Okay, thank you. So you realize that um, the interest of the consumers in um, vegetables is, I mean, is rising or is on the rise on the market. And uh, beetroot specifically comes with a lot of health benefits. The economic benefits. Economic. We realize that um, it is only in Ghana here where we mostly concentrate on the consumption of the only the bulb. Mm -hmm. But we realize that through our research, we realize that the beetroot, the bulb can be converted into any product, in some of the products like the sugar, the beetroot, okay, and mm -hmm. uh, the lettuce here. Uh, if you look at it, is, it's a, a short season crop, mm -hmm. okay, as compared to a crop like tomatoes, where you have to take like three months for, for it to be ready to harvest. Beetroot, uh, lettuce here will take like after transplanting three to one month, they are, they are ready. So it's like if you compare lettuce to beet, um, tomatoes, you're able to harvest like three times before someone who is doing tomatoes will harvest one. How did you prepare the land? We cleared the land around here and then we raised our beds. The, the, bed, is, the, the bed is big, so we divided the, the bed into two so that we'll be able to work on each side of the portions so that we won't be struggling to like maybe put in something here or control weeds. Okay, what is the size of this bed? Or oh, one? 1.2 meter mm -hmm. by by three meters. So what quantity of seeds did you sow on this bed? Where did you buy the seeds? Okay, I bought it at Agrimat. Why did you buy it from Agrimat? Agrimat is one of the the notable um, um, institutions that we that are known for for seed. Uh, marketing. I mean, they sell quality seeds. They are they are licensed. Um, so we are sure that 
they will provide us with the quality and that, that we require. How old is how old are these siblings? A month. One month? Yes, please. Four, Four weeks, weeks, which is one month exactly. How how often do you water it? Normally um, water it in a space of two to three days. So you don't water it every day? Initially we used to water it every day, mm -hmm. but um, for some days now, or say for since the last week. Mm -hmm. Since just the last week, we, we've been watering it from the day we broadcast almost every day we water up until this particular height that they got to when we started transplanting. So we give them a space of two days and then we come back to Why? water. Okay, looking at the water holding capacity of the soil, if we are to water every now and then, it will get too moist, which from our research has realized that. Um, it can cause their roots to rot if water becomes too much in the soil. Okay. How did you transplant? How did you transplant? How did you take the seedlings? Okay, so we, with the help of our garden tools, our hand fork and the, the seed tree, we had one seed tree here. So mostly we scoop we have the the the, 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 the the seedlings and then with a bowl of soil. Thank you. Okay, so we are done with um, Bo Farm vegetable. Thank you. Welcome to Veggie Fresh Vegetable Plot. Okay. We are here to assess you and see the progress okay. on what you've done so far. First of all, what informed your selection of this place? Okay. Thank you very much. So we considered a number of factors. For example, the nearness to the market. You realize that Kwabena market is just close to this place, as well as Madina market. So that informed our decision to, to select this place. Yes. And also, we also considered good source of water. We, we realized that there was water available. Uh -huh. For Why did you select um, bell pepper or green sweet pepper? Yes, so we did a market survey before mm -hmm. we decided on selecting or this particular crops. Yes, so we went to the market and we asked what was actually in demand and then we were informed. So that informed our decision for selecting this particular crop. Do you have any knowledge about bell pepper, sweet pepper? Okay, from what I know, there are several varieties. But um, the variety that we were told is thriving on the market is the Simbad, you know, variety. So that is what we settled on. How did you plant it? We dig the hole, then we measured uh, distance, the dimension. The uh, distance of 60 centimeters in between each uh, plant. Then we inserted a, each a seedling. seedling into each of the homes. We are done with you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, we are done with uh, veggie fresh. Thank In fact, there is more room for improvement. You have to do better. Because from the look at things, you may have to change the crop. Oh, okay. Other than that, you might not get any returns out of this. Mm -hmm. You incur a lot of cost. Okay. So you have to change it and select a better crop. Sorry, a better alternative. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Depending on your marketing research, you can choose other alternative and plant transplant immediately. Okay. Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Why do you select cucumber? We selected cucumber because during the class, we realized that cucumber is a warm season crop and it also does well on clay loam soil. So when we came and we surveyed the land, though we didn't have any apparatus to check, we realized it was a, loam, a clay loam, so we decided to do cucumber. Okay, then what else? Why did you select this crop? So one was because of the land and two was because of the health benefit and three was because of the market. All right. 
Yes, you okay. This one is not. Did you nurse it? No, please. The direct planting. So we planted the direct. Oh, direct seeding. Okay. Where did you buy? How did you select your seeds? Okay, I went to them. I went online to check on the varieties of cucumber we have. Mm -hmm. Then I decided to do the normal one that we have, and one other one that people don't normally do. So I researched for the hybrid one and the normal one that is being planted. So I realized that the normal one that is being planted is point set, mm -hmm. and the other one, the hybrid, I decided to choose Nikita, F1 Nikita. So this is the hybrid one, okay. and that's one that is the point set. Okay. How many do you plant per hole? Two. At what planting distance? At 60 centimeters. Why did you plant two per hole? Because I, I realized that because it's a creeping plant, I didn't want to do it plenty for the for it to scatter at one place for the so I can breed very well. So I just did two so that one can go to the other side and the other two can also branch the other side. Have you applied any insecticide? Yeah, insecticide. Pet yes, pesticide. Okay. Yes, pesticide and insecticide. Yes, please. and fungicide. So How did you do it? Okay, I mixed the fungicide and the insecticide in the knapsack machine, and I used it to spray. Initially, I realized that there were ants that were disturbing. They were chewing the roots. So when I came, I, I sprayed the base, the base of it, and the, the leaves too, so that the fungi be hiding behind the leaves will also live. Have you applied any fertilizer? Yes, please. What type? The NPK, the one from AMG, 25, 10, 10, plus C. Okay, how do you apply it? Okay, I, about 10 centimeters, then I, so that it will not really get closer to Saika Royal, sorry, Saika Royal. You did very well, your crop, your, your bed look attractive. Aesthetic wise, it's attractive. But there is one thing that you have to consider. You have to trail them, trail listen. So you put pegs, I demonstrated it to you. Yes. yes. Uh -huh. So you have to trail them because they are, they are flowering. Very soon the fruit will start exactly. appearing. Yeah. The hybrid is faster. So mm -hmm. you see that the hybrid is flowering. Yes. The and it will be, it, the fruit might be dirty. Okay. As soon as you water and or there is a splash of water, because the fruit are on the ground, they will be dirty. But when you trail them, it will be climbing the sticks. Yes, so the fruit will be neat and you might not encounter other fungal diseases, rots and other things, you understand? So uh, you throw them. In fact, you have done so well, your farm is neat and... Yes. Uh -huh. So it's very good. Thank you very much and keep it up. Okay. Action. Okay. Why did you select this site? Okay, thank you very much. Um, this, I selected this site because uh, mostly we do vegetables around. So I felt since I was going to do vegetable, uh, it's conducive. The vegetable yes. is conducive? Yes, please. Okay. So you already have the land and you decided, okay. Yes, please. The land, uh, the land is how many, how many hectares? or in acreage? Okay, in acreage, the total land available here is 200 acres. 200? Yes, but so for the purpose of the, we're told to take like an average of a plot. Okay. So I've mapped out the plot for the purpose okay. of the graduating Okay, business. so now, if you have 200 acres, why did you select this particular location for this specific crop that you have chosen? Thank you very much. So, um, I looked at uh, convenience in terms of accessibility myself when I'm available to manage things in the farm and then also I wanted it to be in the middle where I can have very good control of it also if you look at it our dam is to the right hand side but not so far away where I can have enough pressure in terms of the irrigation since we don't have much rains. What, what crops did you choose? I selected the uh, okra. Why did you select okra? Okay, yes, so uh, before the start of the program, I listened very carefully and then we were told uh, marketing will be part of it. So I have uh, a variety that the exporters buy. So I felt, okay, I can do it and then in terms of the marketing, I can sell to them. 
So the variety specifically is Sigenta OH1. Um, it's like the lady finger. It comes out slim, green, and very nice. And then it's also in high demand by the okay. exporters. Looking at the okra, yes, please. You have a lot of insect pests on them. Yes, please. Why? Yes. So um, I realized we have the insect podagrica. Um, because they were younger, I wasn't looking at using a strong chemical that would burn them. So I started with a milder one, which is lambda. And lambda, on the label, the PHI, which is the pre-harvest interval, is three days. So I started with the lambda, but I realized that if you can see this uh, one, one, yes, they are very hard to control. If you use a milder chemical, you will not be able to control them. So as the stage they've gotten to now, I can use stronger ones like acetamiprid, imidacoprid, which can control them. But at the younger level, if I was to use it in their dosage, it may burn. It may burn what? Like the seeds, the, the seedlings. So I decided to use lambda. So now I'm trying to use the stronger one since they are two weeks and above. When the drips are coming, doesn't it affect see the, the, the film is on the okra? The okra. Doesn't it affect it? So what we actually do is myself and the little one, we put them in the rolls. It's just that we did irrigation this morning and then uh, some of it. But if you look at the weight of it, it doesn't really disturb it. We just need to lift it from the, the, the young plants. Have you applied any fertilizer? Not yet. What we did was in the lamp preparation, we added manure and then we harrowed it into the soil. All right. So why did you choose this place for this particular crop? Okay, I chose this place because lettuce and then because of the crops I'm doing, lettuce and then cabbage do very well in this particular soil. Okay. They do very well in this particular soil. That's and why it's sandy loam. Okay, that's why I chose this place. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. Why did you choose lettuce? I chose lettuce because it has a short cycle. Okay. It takes a cycle. shorter time for it to mature. Okay. And because the land is not so big, mm -hmm. it means that you can do it and oh. then harvest and do something else with the land or repeat it again if you are able to work on the soil very well. So what quantity of seeds did you put on this bed? And this particular one is half can. Half can? Half can of the... Okay, so the full the... can is 100 grams, so 50 grams yes, on please. this? 50 grams. Okay, yes. what's the size of your bed, please? 4 feet by 60 feet. 4 feet by what? 60 feet. Okay, so um, when you nest, what were some of the things you were doing to your seedlings to get it to this stage? What were some of the okay. practice? Uh, when I nest, initially there was the mulch on it, so after germination I took off the mulch and then gave it a shade. And then after that, some time the shade went off. But I also noticed that uh, there were these leaf miners. Okay, no problem. This how happened. how how did you transplant? How did you plant it? Two inches or so less. Do you pick it with your bare hand and create a I hole? I create the hole with the finger. With the finger and then push it inside. It inside. And not just like one inch mm. or half. Have you applied any pesticide? Yes, I've applied a, a pesticide. Any fertilizer yet? No, no fertilizer yet. Okay, in conclusion, I'll simply say. Yes, you are in, you are in progress. It's, you are doing the right thing, but just that transplanting, it will be advisable to do that late afternoon. Okay. Late afternoon. If you if you are going to uh, transplant in the morning, you have to know the weather very well. Know that the day there isn't there is not going to be any sunlight. Okay. 
before you start in the morning. In all, I would say that uh, the participants are doing quite well. Some are really doing very well. Others too, they are now coming on the path. Uh, they are now coming on the path. So it means the slight advice, they will be able to do very well as we expect them to do. Because when we check their cultural practice in terms of size selection, seat selection, and the basic practice, realize that uh, they are doing well in terms of uh, farm sanitation realize that everybody is doing well their farms are clean no weeds you don't see plastics and other things around the texture of their uh, their field realize that they've broken the topsoil very well today has been very eventful so far we've assessed from binari through to esuchwini in the eastern region and then to michel camp and I can say that the participants are doing very well in terms of looking at their nursery, the progress, and those who have transplanted, and then the plants that we planted at stake, the cucumber. If you look at the rate of growth and you look at the health of the plants, you see that they are doing very well. We are hoping that they will still continue with all the practices we are taking them through, through to harvesting. When it gets to harvesting to look at the end products, then we'll see how best they will market it and then based on that we can say that this year's training program has been very successful but so far it's been very good and we think it will continue that way and then at the end we'll see the end results thank you still on it with our assessment gathering some feedback from our participants we have with us here mercy blematessa team member of veggie fresh team and uh, mercy so how did your assessment go so far, so good. So, mm -hmm. as you can see, our crops are encountering some challenges. Okay. Yes, so we've been advised to um, look for an alternative. So that is why we are working on it. So looking at this, what should our viewers expect? What we have to do is to just re-strategize and then put in more effort. Okay, okay, okay. Moving on from our discussion with Veggie Fresh, we are here with Bofam Vegetables and to gather their feedback about the assessment today. So Felisa, tell us, how did it go? Actually, it went well. I think it went well. It went well. What were, you, what were some issues that came up? So some of the comments they gave us was, if you are coming to do transplanting, two days before the transplanting, we should not water the bed. Oh, okay. Okay. But you had an issue with that, the watering and... Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then they also told us to space, in, space out our beetroot. Oh, okay. Okay, so what should our viewers expect from both and vegetables? Nothing but the best. All right, so expecting nothing but the, the best, best from the both and vegetables. Moving on from both and vegetables, we are with, um, we are here with the Toma Fresh team. Um, I could see you guys were a bit tensed during your assessment. How was the really? feeling like? Oh, it was good. It was really good and exciting as well and mm -hmm. informa informative. Okay, okay. Any other? Any other? Yeah, like you said, it was informative. Um, it, we are happy that our facilitators came mm -hmm. because they've seen what we are doing and they've also told us some other things that we are supposed to, to do. do. So yes, it was very good that they came today. Great, I can see you holding some container with fertilizers. What's, what's mm -hmm. going on? Why are you having it after the assessment? Yeah, so we last week we were able to uh, apply the fertilizer for one of the bed okay and we did for we haven't done for the other one so mm -hmm. we are we are making sure that today we cover the whole bed okay. then we continue from there yes. so this is the fertilizer to, to, to we add up after transplanting you have to give the seedling a starter and the sun and that is uh, this fertilizer we are we are to boost great great I, boost I, I remember yes. we, we captured this yes. during our nursery yeah. that, that's that's so growth. good yes so okay okay we, okay uh, Great, great, great. So what should our viewers expect from Toma Fresh? Toma Fresh, as usual, is the best. Mm -hmm. The competitors can even attest to the fact <laughs> we are really competing with them. So like we are, we have said, we are here, we are here to get the award. Mm -hmm. And we, we, will, we will give nothing but our best like we've already started. Great. Toma Fresh is giving us nothing but the best. 
still on with our assessment. We are with William Nachina on the on his farm. This is the original seed farm, all the way from Kwabenya, and we are here at Esuasu, right? Yes, yes. Esuasu in the eastern region of Ghana. Here is William Natchness farm, original seeds farm. So we just need to, we are going to gather some feedback from him, his general overview about the assessment. So William, what, what, what do you think about this? Thank you very much, Baba. So um, the assessment was good. Um, it has awakened me up to be able to manage the okra more in terms of the pest. It's yes. great, great, great. So lovely viewers, signing out from Esioso Farm. We just, um, Esioso, with, uh, on the original seed farm, we've had a very interesting discussion with William Natchina. And as he said, he's in for the best. He's winning. Go nowhere. Follow Original Seed Farm on the APO Graduating Agribusiness Horticulture Reality TV Show. Thank you.